hi viewers welcome to another video tutorial in this video tutorial we shall be considering question number three coming from the 2024 ECZ examination for general certificate of education ordinary level additional mathematics paper two so this is the question uh so so this is uh, the paper the question is uh, coming from the 2024 gce exam so let's try to check where question number three is so question number three is under the topic of exponential and logarithmic functions let's try to check where question number three is in the paper okay so here is the question that we have it is a question number three so question number three says that solve the equations so question number three has two parts it has part a and part b so part a carries three marks and then part b carries four marks so let's first start with uh, part a part a says that 2x uh, 2 to the uh, 7 to the power 2x plus 1 is equal to 13 and then b says that log base 2 open brackets x plus 2 close brackets is equal to 3 plus 2 uh, plus log base 2 x so that is the whole question number three that is the whole question number three let's now simply get into the solving so here is our solving and as we're getting to the solving i hope you haven't forgotten to click the like and to also subscribe to this channel as you're subscribing don't forget to turn on the notification button so that you're notified when each and every video tutorial is uploaded on this youtube channel and also don't forget to comment so that we hear out your views so this is uh, the question we're going to start with part a so part a says that solve the equations so solve the equation so that is the equation that we have it is uh, 7 to the power 2x plus 1 is equal to 13. so what are we going to do we're going to introduce something we are going to introduce something we are going to introduce logs on both sides so it will be open brackets so when you introduce a log when you introduce log on both sides of the equation on the left hand side of the equation what will happen is that at 2x plus 1 it can come down like that when you introduce log so it will be open brackets 2x plus 1 close brackets log 7 so that is what happens when you introduce logs on both side so it will be when you introduce log on the right hand side it will be log 13 so our main target remember our main target is to find the value of x so on both sides of the equation we're going to divide by log 7 so that one and that one will cancel out so on the left hand side we are simply going to remain with 2x plus 1 and then that will equal to 1 point so when you use your calculator or whichever way uh, that you are going to use when you divide log 13 divide by log 7 you are going to find that the value that you are going to get is 1.3 one eight one two three two two three like that and then remember again our target is to make x the subject of the formula so what will happen is that when you when the uh, the positive one goes to the right hand side it will be a negative and then when you subtract one from one point three one eight one two three two two three it will be 0 0.318 1 2 3 
two, two, three, like that. So we have to divide both sides of the equation by two. So it will be something like that. So when you divide both sides of the equation by two, it will be it will give you the value of zero point one five nine zero six one six as uh, zero zero six one six one one like that. So that is how you find such equations. So this is how you answer such questions. This is how you find answers for such equations. So there you even say that therefore the value of x is equal to zero point one six. So we have rounded off the uh, the answer. So that is how it should be. This is how you're supposed to answer in an exam room. This is how you score marks in an exam room. Let's now go to the let's now go to the second part of the uh, question. So second part of the equation says that log base two open brackets x plus two close brackets is equal to three plus log base two x. So that is part B. Let's try to attempt that. So log base two open brackets x plus two is equal to three plus log base two x. So here what you are going to do is that you are going to collect the like terms. So we are going to make those which have log base 2 to come to the left hand side of the equation. So we are going to make those which have log base 2 to come to the left hand side of the equation. And then when you take them to the left hand side of the equation it will be log base 2 open brackets x plus 2 close brackets minus log base 2 x and then that will equal to 3 now what you should keep in mind in logarithmic functions what happens is that when you have uh, those like terms which are log base 2 and then there is a minus between them when there is a minus it is division but when there is a, po a plus when there is um, a positive or you can say when there is a plus that means that it is multiplication but in this case it is a subtraction so it will go to division so we are going to say it will be like uh, log base 2 open brackets x plus 2 over x like that is equal to 3 so that is how it should be that is what it means when we have a minus when you when we have a subtraction that is what it means and then the next step that we're going to take is that we're going to write something like we're going to write, write it and then when we rewrite it, we're going to say log base 2. On the right hand side, we're going to write log base 2. So, what we're going to do is that that 2, log base 2, since it is log base 2, that 2 will push the 3. It will push the 3. And then the 3 will go up like that. So if it was log base 3, if it was log base 4, just know that that 4, if it was log base 4, the 4 would have pushed the 3 and then the 3 would have gone up like that. But in this case, it is log base 2. So the 2 will push the 3 and then the 3 will go up like that. And then we're going to cancel out log base 2 on both sides of the equation. And then it will be x plus 2 over x is equal to 2 to the power 3. So x plus 2 over x is equal to, so 2 to the power 3 it is equal to 8. And then it will be over 1 and then we are going to do the cross multiplication. And then it will be x plus 2 is equal to 8x. So again here our main job is to 
make x the subject we're going to make x the subject so we're going to have 7x seven x is equal to two so when we make x the subject it will be x is equal to two over seven so therefore x so when you divide when you say two divide by seven it will give you zero point two eight five seven one four two eight five like that so therefore even say therefore the value of x is equal to 0 0.29 like that so this is how you score marks in an exam room this is how you're supposed to answer in an exam room so this is how we answer questions related to logarithmic functions and exponential equations this is how you're supposed to answer I hope you haven't forgotten to subscribe, to like, share, and to comment. Thank you for watching. See you to another video tutorial soon.